Okay, this is part two of part three. Okay, now that you got this back down here, you just put in the latest version of Cody and you install the bill and also you added three new members, which we will get to in part three. What we want to do is go to the media center and click on it. This is what you just downloaded, the latest version, which was 19.4. And if you look up here uh, where the time is, because you already set up your internet and everything, it says the latest version, Exxon Free 8.3. This just came about a week ago. So when this screen comes up, it is actually installing everything. You must wait four to five minutes for this to load. But what I'm going to do is come down here, and as you can see in the upper top, it's writing the scan stuff. I want to come down here to Cody settings to make it go faster. I want to hit systems and then internet access, which is this part right here. I mean later. I want to enable that. So I'm going to come over to the right and click on that. Once I click on that, I should be moving a whole lot faster. Now that we're moving faster, uh, I'm going to come back and say return and go back down to this thing and go to services. I'm cheating right now. If you're fast enough, you can do what I'm doing. I went down to control, went over to the right. I come down to the bottom one, hit that and turn it on and then left arrow over, come to PNP. I'm going to right arrow over and make sure the top one and the one below it's on and then I need the bottom two so that's three on the top two on the bottom once that's done I'm gonna right arrow back over in this left hand column and go to airplay once I'm at airplay I need the right arrow over and select the top one and just the bottom one okay uh, this is what needs to be on these are your switches when I do that I can just hit return, return, return back to my highway. So, as you can see, when I told you this box takes about four to five minutes to load, you can see weather icons on the top. You see them up there? Let me use this mouse. They're all up here. But notice up here it says New York. I don't live in no damn New York, okay? But don't worry. I'm going to show you how to correct that. So, when I actually come back down to Exxon Free, I'm going to come down into the subtitles and go over to Weather Settings, right there. You see that? I want you to hit that with the OK button. And then down arrow to where it says Location 1, New York. Once you're there, hit the OK button. A keyboard should pop up. Wow! Now, for the advanced users on your remote, at the bottom right hand corner you have a delete key you also have a delete key right here okay I can hit that one and see how letters are de deleting I'm gonna use the one on my remote because it goes super fast I wanna clear that out and then on my remote I wanna put my location in I guess right now I'm in Los Angeles so I go L O S Remember, you can go off to the right to get to the uh, left. Los, and then a space. Angeles, A, N, G, E, L, E. Now remember, when you're doing this, make sure the letters and uh, the spelling is correctly and that enter the nearest large town okay and I need an S now I got Los Angeles I need to put a comma there because now I'm using the uh, uh, geographics of satellites and once the commas there you need a space the space is important 
the state I'm in is in California, see? A, and I need a comma. And once I get the comma, I need a space. Okay, and then since I'm in the United States, all I have to put is a U.S. U. S. Once that's in there, I want you to navigate down and go to done. Now it's looking, it's going to find it. When it finds it, click your OK button on your remote. That's the one you're going to select. Once you do that, click the OK button. You see it changes to Los Angeles, California, or wherever you are. Now at this point, you're going to have to down arrow twice to get to the bottom of your screen. One, two. When you see OK down there, hit OK. OK, so now you are set. Notice uh, nothing's changed up there, but don't worry, because when you turn your box off and turn it back on, it's going to say Los Angeles with your current uh, weather, your five-day forecast. Actually, it's seven, because you see this arrow over here? that keeps this in appear. If I hit that, oh, anyway, you'll get your full thing. Now that this is on, and it's been about four minutes, I want to show you some things you need to know. So, pay attention. When I get back on the highway, which is this middle screen, I want to go over to add-ons. Add-ons is important because the box that we give you we soup it up. So from here, I want you to go down twice, air, down arrow twice, one, two, and then navigate to the right all the way to install from repo. That's the bottom right hand corner. Select that by hitting OK. Now, I'm in repositories. To make this box better than anything else you've seen out there, I want you to uh, navigate down by using your down arrow all the way to Cody add-ons. Now the list you're seeing is so big, you can see as I go down, these are things you couldn't see. And it's in alphabetical order when it's in white. So I'm going down to Cody add-ons, which is this one. I want you to select that one. So I'm going to hit OK. When this opens up, we're going to add some stuff that you're going to need. First of all, I want to go down to look and fill. I'm going to select that by hitting OK because this is when I'm playing music. I want to see a nice little background. Okay, so I'm going down to visualization. Okay, I want you to hit OK and click on that. When this screen opens up, as you can see at the bottom down here, that's what the software installed waveform. Trust me, it's whack, whack. Wow. We're going to go up to Spectrum that's not installed, right? And none of these other ones are. But you have a choice. When it comes to that, choose what you want. I recommend Spectrum. So I'm going to select Spectrum by hitting OK. And when I hit OK, it's going to say install. Yes. I'm going to hit OK again. It's downloading and it's going to install. So now I have two that are going to be enabled. Okay, watch this. Wait for it. Bam! Now that that one, I have two. I want one to be over the other one. Or the primary versus the secondary. So I'm going to hit OK on Spectrum again because I want to use that one. Did I say use? There it is. Click it. And now, when any music comes on, you're going to see something more enjoyable. At this point, hit return. Hit return again. And now that you're back here, under repositories, still under Cody, we want to go down to PVR clients. I want you to hit OK to select that because this box, the software, only put one PVR in there. We're going to add three more. So I want you to navigate down to the bottom of this uh, screen, which says PVR box. Hit OK. Now install it. Hit OK. While that's going on, down arrow one more, 
with one home run client. I want you to select, okay, I want you to select it and then install it. So we're going to select it and install it by hitting OK. And the one right up underneath that, which is IPT Simple Client, we want that one too. So select it and install it. Now we got three that we installed, but there's another one. It's called Front End. I want you to down arrow, just a few. TV, head end, it wasn't front end, head end. I want you to install that by selecting it and then installing it by hitting OK. That gives you four. You got four times, but notice in your right hand screen how they're loading. This is going to give you superpower. This is what they don't show you on the internet. Uh, those guys are good, but I'm going to say it. I'm just better, damn it. Anyway, once that's done, hit your return key, get out of here, and then get out of there. And while we're here still in repositories, uh, there's something you should know. Uh, some of the people we get, and it's like 59%, they want family-oriented boxes. But the other percentage seems to be adults. When they found out that we can give them adult content for free, shoot, uh, they want it. So now I want you to go all the way to the bottom of this list. Just hold your arrow down to where it stops. I want you to up arrow three. You see what that says? It says XB. MC adult contents. I want you to select that by hitting OK. Then the video add-ons which is the a, a bottom line down arrow three times. I want you to select that by hitting OK. Now these three things that are coming up if you're an adult you're going to appreciate them. I'm going to do the bottom one first. Video devil. Notice that devil over there has some horns. Hint, hint. Let's select him and then install him by hitting OK. And then let's go arrow up one to Fantasti. Fantasti! Let's select him uh, and install him just like that. And then the next one is Implex. Didn't wanna, uh, my fingers are so fast because I've been doing this for 14 years. So notice they're all enabled. At this point, Hit your return on your remote. Hit your return again. Hit your return again. All the way back to the highway. At this point right now, I want to show you something. We're going to uh, come on the highway. It says add-on. I want to go over to TV Guide. Okay. TV Guide, I installed four PVRs. So I want you to, want, at, at this point, Arrow down one, and then to the right. Update PVRs. Once I do that, you're going to realize those four things you gave. Look up in the upper right-hand corner. Because I put in four, now I'm doing some matrix stuff. Or it's called algebra stuff. It seemed that I got more than one. So it's grouping them all and going to give me super power. It says magnetic one. Most people don't know what that is, but it's like Microsoft, okay? As it disappeared, all I have to do is hit my return on my remote, go back to the highway. But let me show you what it just did. I'm in TV, right? I'm going to up arrow one. I see BET, ESPN, Fox Sports, and something else. But notice in the upper right, see how those things were coming in? I'm going to just pick on HBO, okay? You might want something else. Where am I at? I'm going to go to HBO and hit the OK button. And less than 20 seconds, watch how quickly that opens up. In less than 20 seconds, okay? But HBO, it costs money if you were to cable people. And all these things cost money. You're getting it for free. Can you spell free? F-R-E-E. -E.
that equals to what's getting ready to come up on your screen right now. Right, but notice how it's here. Normally, after you set, turn your box off and turn it on, it works much faster. Oh, this seems to be the matrix or something. Okay, on the remote control, uh, one, two, three, four, five. The fifth layer down, you have uh, TV remotes. Watch me pause it. I can hit pause or stop. Okay, because we're not going there. But while we're on the on the main highway, let's go over the movies. Now, movies is a big thing. Uh, this is exciting. I'm going to down arrow to the bottom icons and go over to the oath. I'm going to select the oath because this is where you guys, most of you, 82%, you want to go here. You see that list over there in the left hand column? In this list, you should go to movies, okay? Some of you advanced people want to go on the channels and people and new movies and stuff, but we're going to click on just movies. When I click on movies, it's going to open a world to you. In other words, it's not just movies. It's filtered out. You've got genres, years, decades, languages, certificates, all kind of stuff. But for the new people, we suggest go to people watching, which is on right now, or scroll down the list to in theaters. What did I say? In theaters? Well, shit. I can save money. Let us click on that one. So as I open that one up, all these shows that are going to come up right now are what's out there right now in the theaters. Notice they have dates at the end of the sentence, 2022. So if you want to stay current, save money, uh, have a cheap date by telling your girl, come on over, I'm taking you to the movies. And you don't even have to leave your apartment. All you have to do is have food to feed her and a couple of drinks. So let's look at this list. Dr. Strange. Whoa, that's one... Wait a minute, did I see, uh, I saw the Batman on this minutes ago. Oh, there it is right now, and that came out a month ago. Let's test this box. I'm going to select that one by hitting the OK button. In the bottom right-hand corner, you see it says working. And I clicked on, I think, Batman. Now, what it's doing right now is searching the satellite, not those servers. Everything that's out there is traveling way above us, way up in the sky. There's hundreds of thousands of satellites. Streaming is here to stay. Uh, the middleman who makes you want to pay for this stuff is not up there. He's on the planet with us. But you're going up there in the satellites and you're getting all the footage all the inventory of anything that's out there because it travels through satellites. So when this is finished, it says the scrapers are working. Look for the green. If you see green numbers flashing up there, that means it's there and you can watch it. It's as good as good can get. So watch what happens next. It's going to show me another screen because it was looking at all the people that were bidding on it. And look at this list. When you get a list like this, we help you out. This list is kind of long, but anything, and let me show you with my mouse, anything that says dot on it, we recommend you get. But this middle part right here, these are film XYs, these are one, two, three movies. Uh, there are more powerful search engines out there. So I'm going to go down to the bottom. Film XY, FSAP. And this one right here, Database G Drive Player. He's number one. FSAPI, he's number two. So I'm going to just click on that one, okay? For argument's sake. And as you see, there's conjuring up. Notice in your bottom left hand corner, it's coming. You're going to see a player show up down there. There it is. Boop, boop, boop. Okay, that means your movie's coming on. You can actually put your remote control down. Uh, ask your guest or your date, would you like something to eat? But you don't want to stay in the kitchen that damn long. You want to get her some <laughs> cookies and milk. 
or some hors d'oeuvres. But notice what's coming on. Here's your movie. Uh, this happens anytime and every time. But there's other things that I have once explained to you, which will be in another video. How you can save this movie and bookmark it because you didn't, couldn't finish it. You started out watching the movie. Things got heated. And you want to put your movie on pause, but you want to bookmark it. Because things got heated or things went south. You had to tell her, you need to go. <laughs> anyway, as you can see, the Batman movie's up. Here's one thing I want to show you. Check this out. If you hit your OK button on your screen, your tools come up. I can pause this movie. Look at that. See that? I can pause it. I can also go way down here to the end and bookmark it. All I have to do is bookmark it in case you need this. Once you bookmark it, hit the return key. But here's something real special. If I go right here and click on this, this box that we sell has a built-in amplifier. See that right there, volume application? Uh, I don't have the sound on, but if I click on this, that sound went up more than whatever my TV was going to allow. And then I would turn the volume down on my remote, if you can understand me. So anyway, let's close that. And let's continue this movie by play, hit and play again. But here's something else you need. I can uh, actually put the cursor on the time bar anywhere and advance the movie. So watch how it went from the beginning to there. That's for the people that didn't understand bookmarks. Or, if you forgot, you can always click on the screen and then press over here. And the movie will fast forward to that position. The peach? <laughs>